Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode for Cannon Brawl. It's a a 2D strategic base building tower defense worms kind of game. It's actually probably easier to just show you, so I think we're just going to dive in here into a simple match versus the AI. Now, I have already beaten the campaign, which is why I have all of these levels unlocked. And I had planned on going into the nightmare version of the campaign to kind of show you how that's how that is because actually I haven't even tried it yet. I'm hoping it's pretty hard. Uh, but what I'm going to do just to, for the first match is just kind of show you what this game's all about. I'm just going to pick a random level, and I'm using a gamepad on the PC, and I highly suggest that you do so. I have already unlocked a bunch of pilots. When you start the game, you have this basic princess, and you can see that her special ability is cooldown timers are 15% shorter. I am going to go with one I recently unlocked, which is the Knight. And every 45 seconds, he increases a building's maximum health and repair it by 5 HP. So I'm going to choose him. I'm going to put the... Oh, you know what? For the, for the first round, I'm just going to put this on medium, so it kind of gives me a lot of time to just explain things as we go along. Honestly, I'm insane. It's kind of easy still, but um, we'll go on medium just so I can explain. All right, so you're, after you unlock some towers, which I unlocked all of these except for this fortified mine by playing through the campaign, you're going to want to build your deck for this particular match. Now, the map, which you can kind of see behind it, if, and actually if you hold down the X button, you can see exactly what you're going to be playing on. This is kind of going to influence what you want to pick for your deck because some towers, like let's say this drilling tower. It fires a drill that destroys lots of ground. Maybe that would be better for an island or a map that had a lot more islands and not just kind of one continuous landmass like at the bottom there because so you can kind of destroy the ground that the enemy is on. Uh, for this one I'm going to kind of go with my favorites. So you have to have a... Uh, what is this even called? We see the balloon in the top left. I can replace the balloon with this accelerator which is going to reduce cooldowns by 20% and also increase the cost of the balloon by tw or by 5. And another version of that is going to be this platform, which allows us to build towers on top of these balloons, uh, but it also costs tw uh, 30, which is going to be 10 more than the basic balloon. I'm going to pick the accelerator, because it's kind of my favorite thing, and the balloons are used to expand your dominion, which we'll get into in the game. I'm going to choose... Oh, let's choose a laser tower, so we can show you that off. The very basic tower is a cannon tower, and I'll show that off. This is a one-time use building that you can launch at a enemy base and it can't be destroyed. Bank is an economy building that generates gold as, as well as allowing you to bribe enemy towers. Let's go with... Uh, I don't know. Let's go with a fortified mine. Which increases the health of the mine as well as gives like a regen aura to other towers nearby. I'll build this bomb bot blaster. There we go. And I'll say ready. We're going to go into a match here against a random AI opponent. Now, eventually I just want to play against real people, because honestly the AI, it kind of has a ceiling to it, and you can kind of beat it pretty easily. But, you know, just to show you what this game is all about. Alright, so you need to go to your castle here to build or buy any of your towers that you chose before. So, this thing, the balloon, is what expands your dominion. And you can see that you have pre-built spots that you can put it in. And the whole point is to try, right now, is to try and get your economy up by getting these gold mines. And to get those gold mines, you're going to have to have it in your in, um, your area. So we're going to build that. It's going to spin our territory. There you go. And now we're going to build a mine. Plop it down there. I'm going to wait and, oops. Build another mine there. And then I'm going to want to continue to expand our territory. Now the gold generates, I believe it's one... It's like 1 times, and then the diamonds in the middle, if you get a gold mine, is 1.5 times the amount of a normal gold mine. So you really want to get the diamond mines if you can. So I'm just going to kind of expand over there. And you can see the enemy is continuing to do stuff, so you know what, maybe it's time I put some pressure on them. I'm going to build a bomb tower down here. And then, the thing is, the towers do not fire on their own. You have to go over there, dock, and then aim the shot. The thing with the bomb is that after the initial blast, this little projectile, it lands, and then it becomes a little bomb guy. Now, if that little bomb guy runs into a shield, which there are none on the map right now, um, it can walk through a shield, but if it's in a projectile form, the shield will destroy it. So you kind of have to be careful where you fire these things. I'll place another one here, and this one's ready to go. You can see the cooldown of 14 seconds. Accelerated by these accelerators, as you can tell, they are connected to each other. And now, let me continue to expand our domain. 
And I'm going to build a basic cannon tower up here. And I'm going to use it to destroy... Oh, that was a bad shot. I'm trying to get into this gold mine. But also, when you build a building, a domain goes around that. So now that unlocked that gold mine up there for us to be able to claim. So I'm going to claim it. And I'm going to fire another shot. Because the whole purpose of this thing is to try and unlock that, which now it is. When it becomes full crystals like that, it is unlocked. So instead of building another accelerator, though, I think I'm going to build just another bomb guy right here. Which will expand our domain, as every tower does. And now we can claim the gold mine. And as you can see, I'm not really firing all of our stuff because I'm just trying to explain we can also upgrade towers I'm sorry you can do upgrade them up to level three I'll upgrade this one it becomes bigger you can shoot farther oh we just got frozen by the enemy's uh, airship it must be a special ability also this mine has been destroyed so we need to replace that and this game gets really hectic really fast aim this guy up there now I'm going to grab a laser tower. Laser shoot in a straight line. And they can be reflected by enemy shields. As you can see, there it goes right now. I'll upgrade these. Launch some so that they can walk off into the distance. Launch that. Try to destroy that tower. You know, I should probably upgrade that tower. And let's see. Let's expand our domain some more. But we won't use an accelerator. We will use another laser tower down here. And this will grab the influence for this mine right there. We'll fire off more laser towers. Fire off laser tower. Aim the shot. Fire that guy off. Fire that guy off. Fire. Upgrade. Fire. Each time you upgrade a tower, the range is increased. Its health is increased. And... What else? Damage is increased, I believe. Alright, let's destroy that little piece of land so we can get to the tower. Fire. Fire. Alright, so we have a lot of money. Let me build another laser tower up high. I'm going to upgrade this one since this one's taking a lot of beating. Or a lot of damage. Oh, I totally forgot to use my knight's special ability. So, I'll press X and I increase that thing's health. <laughs> Sorry, I've been trying to just tell you how the game works. I've been forgetting how to... I'm forgetting to actually play. Alright, we'll launch that. That will target that. I should have upgraded that first. There we go. Uh, let's get another laser tower right there. We'll fire this off. Fire this off. Fire that. Fire that. And as you can see, the bombs are just sticking underneath the castle, which is fine, because the castle can fall if you destroy the terrain underneath it. What am I doing? I'm trying to build a mine. That's what I'm trying to do. Alright, so we fire again. Fire again. Alright, now I'm going to build a cannon tower. And when you fully upgrade a cannon tower to level 3, it can fire all the way across the map. Oh, it got frozen, you punk. Let's aim this thing up. Try to get through there. Fire. And the whole point is to take down the enemy castle. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I accidentally uh, destroyed the terrain right there. Fire, fire, upgrade, upgrade, and fire again. Now I'm going to focus down the castle because all of his defenses are basically gone. And it's almost dead, so let's fire this, and... Oh, misfire. Or, didn't aim properly. There we go. Still cut through the terrain, and there we go. <laughs> Whew. You know, commentating a game like this, as you're playing, is probably going to be pretty difficult. I guess an AI, not a huge deal. But I just wanted to jump into the game real fast to kind of show you how the game works, because I think it's easier to show than to explain. And there are a lot of towers in the game. And with every match that you play, you can go to this armory section, and unlock new things. As you can see, I've already paid for the fortified mine as well as the knight. There are still some pilots I can unlock, like this banker. I gain an extra gold per economy, uh, per economy building, sorry, every five seconds. The smuggler allows you to bring one extra building type, which is kind of big. It's kind of a big deal. It allows you to counter other towers, or at least have more chances of doing that. As well as you start with another additional 25 extra gold at the beginning of the match. This dude reduces cooldowns on a building up to 30 seconds. And this guy... Oh, that's the guy that we just fought against. He's able to freeze buildings, which you already saw. 
As far as towers go, we have a flamethrower that I need to unlock, we have a grenade launcher, and a lightning rod, which is kind of like a support tower, because any shots, lasers, warheads, flames that pass through this gain in another damage, so that's kind of an interesting tower right there. So yeah, this is where you would go to unlock. Now the game is currently in early access, and I know they are currently adding more things to it as time goes, so I imagine there will be more towers and pilots in the future. And the kind of side effect of it being in early access right now is that the multiplayer is not that... Like, no one's really playing. Like, I'm in, it's currently the middle of the day right now at the time of this recording, and there's only 25 players on. So I will try to do a rank quick match. Now the way that this game is set up, is if you cannot find an opponent in a certain amount of time, the game will automatically assign you an AI opponent named Gort. Yeah, his name's its name's Gort. I found this out because when I played when I was trying to look for a multiplayer last night, I kept fighting the same guy named Gort. And then I would log off, come back on a couple hours later to try and locate another random match, and it would still be Gort. So I was like, what the heck is this Gort dude? Is he on just like all night? Is the only guy on? Um, then I looked it up and apparently that's an AI opponent that the game gives you if you can't find an actual opponent, which is probably a good thing because I have yet to find a real life human player, which is a, it's a shame because I can beat the AI. They're not that difficult. But if you don't find an opponent, then I'll just show you a match with Gort. And I really want to play this a lot, but there's only so much video I can probably show of me just destroying the AI left and right because that's eventually gets boring and it looks like we're probably gonna be fighting against Gort. I think there's another AI opponent too, different name come on so yeah this is the downfall, it's a cool game it gets really intense I really hope the community builds for this, this is a fun game and with all the different towers and the limitation on towers you can bring there's different strategies, like I'll show you another strategy I was kind of playing around with here by choosing a pilot where all of their towers will deal bonus damage to terrain okay since that went instantly ready on player 2 I'm pretty sure that is also just as player 2 I'm pretty sure that's gonna be Gort we're gonna fight against that's too bad, okay well, I'll show you the strategy I was talking about. Also, here's some of the pilots. This guy can heal nearby turrets. She has an ability that destroys terrain around her. Uh, this is the guy I'll be using this time. All damage to terrain is decreased by 50%. This kind of build is geared to destroy the enemy's land, and not even necessarily towers. Uh, then we also have the king, which has a ring of a, a shield ring, and you can fly interference in between enemy shots and your towers, and the ring will absorb the damage. So that's also kind of cool. But we'll choose a minion here. And what I will do is, we'll do the Fortified Mine, the Accelerator, I'll pick the Driller, the Missile Tower, which does a lot of AoE damage, and let's choose... Let's choose a Laser. Since we're doing a lot more damage to terrain, I can focus on destroying that. And I, I, I feel that these towers are really good at doing that innately, so with the buff we get from this pilot, it should be even better. So I'm just going to just destroy his land, is really my whole point. Yep, you can see Gort, so yeah, this is the AI. Unfortunate. Okay, let's uh, start by going up here. I'm going to go for the diamonds first, so I'm going to expand to the north. Diamonds are worth more. Go figure. I'll build another accelerator here. You could also choose to build a tower right there to expand your domain, but that's more expensive, and uh, I'd rather just get the accelerator up. Now with that down, I'm now going to wait for enough money to build... I'll probably build a missile tower first, and then I'll expand my economy down below. But I want to build a tower so I can take out his diamond mine up there. And there we go. Now the missile turret does AOE damage, as you can see right here. It's, it's going to shoot and then expand like that. Now I will expand down here. Get our economy going up here. Four seconds on that tower. Let's do another expansion. And they have a repair center in the bottom, which I'm going to need to try and take out. But as you can see, all that terrain damage. So I'm eventually going to take out the mine itself by destroying the land that it's on. And for down here, I'm going to start some sniping. I think that was a poor spot to put the bombs. 
Because uh, he's going to have to launch them over through this area and destroy this train first. That's a poor decision. Let me get another missile tower right there and continue to just destroy the land underneath the mine. And fire. And that needs another mine. So we'll do that. Get another laser tower down here. And fire. And fire. Another laser tower. And when the land is gone, the buildings will fall to whatever is below them. So they can't fall into the abyss, and they can also take they take a lot of damage when they fall. So um, all those buildings up top are eventually going to be destroyed. Now they have a shield up. And my missiles will go through the shields because of how many there are. And you know what? Actually, I should probably upgrade these missile towers. There we go. And now we'll just start destroying this land down here. And let me actually show you a driller as well. So we'll grab a driller and put it up here because it is an arcing shot. So you kind of want to put it up as high as possible. And as you can see, my um, beam will be reflected here off of shields, but they will eventually go through. It just takes a while. Let's upgrade this and start drilling that top island up there. And I'm going to start arcing this up here to assist with destroying the island in the top right. This is going to arc over the shielding right there. I should again probably use my money to upgrade that. And now we have a basically a clear shot onto this economy building over there. And we will drill again. Launch our missiles again. Now we're aiming for the castle. Which I could have done earlier, but I just enjoy destroying towers and their economy to make sure that they are totally dead. And we upgrade this to max level. Now we will drill again. Just look at that! It went right through! That's awesome. So this is a, a strategy. You don't necessarily have to destroy the turrets, just destroy all the land that the turrets are on. Now there is a tower. There we go. But you know, it's not really that impressive because it's not a human player. It's just an AI, so they're not really going to counter you that much. Uh, that's really just unfortunate. I'll, I'll try to look for another match again. Maybe an unranked? Maybe people are playing unranked? I don't know. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I can't remember. But yeah, anyway, there's... Oh, right. There is a turret that allows you to build land. So I guess that's kind of the counter... Oh, no way. This is actually against a person. Because it didn't instantly ready up. Okay, okay. Let's try... This is my first person I'm actually going to fight against. That's exciting. I can get my ass kicked. Let me go for a... Uh, let, mm. Let's. Sh I'll show you the, the priest. Or, sorry, the prince. His ship heals turrets around him. Okay, let's go with... Uh, the fortified mine I like the most because it has a healing aura. Plus it's well fortified. The accelerator I think is amazing. We'll go with the laser. Bombs. Uh, there's also a frost tower which can disable enemy towers of fights against. I don't really use it that much though. I'll just get the basic cannon. Awesome! I'm on the right side. I've never been on the right side. So he's playing as the king. Wow, an actual human opponent. This is exciting. So they're going down. Okay. I'm going to kind of do the basic strategy I did last time. And then after this, I'm going to build a building. I see that they're using Accelerator too. And it's like, you can't really counter your opponent's build because you have no idea what they're selecting beforehand. I'll build... I think a bomb is a safe one to build. Takes a little bit more money though. So they're going for more economy still. And now I'm launching stuff. Oh, but he blocked it, as you saw right there. And now I'll continue to expand our economy now that I have a turret up to harass. 
And they built a shield, but my guys can walk through the shields. I just have to aim it like that. Alright, so now my turret is injured, so I go next to it, start healing it. And he built another... Okay. Actually, that was a bad idea. I should not have built uh, that. Whoops. Alright, let's put a cannon tower down here and I will upgrade it. Start shooting at that tower. Oh, but he reflected it. Nice. Wow, that King Shield actually really... It's really good. Oh boy, this is not going well. Holy crap, that thing just keeps blocking everything. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna put a tower here just to block the gold mine. Okay. Not good. So we destroyed the land underneath. Unfortunate. Launch those and launch and build gold mine and launch there. Launch all those. Heal up, heal up. Heal, heal. I need to protect that. I'm gonna build a tower in front of it, so they have to go through that first. And I should eventually, I think, win just by destroying all of his stuff. Like, all of his land. Shit. 
Maybe. No, they got it. Darn it. Pretty tough. I'm also trying to destroy his uh, accelerator, which will decrease the cooldown of all of his uh, towers. And now I think I just upgrade. Try to heal that up. Continue to destroy the accelerator, destroy the um, shield thing. Continue to destroy accelerator. And I'm also getting through to the castle. Oh yeah, I got this, I got this. Yes! That was much, much tougher. Oh my goodness. Woo. I was worried there for a moment. His, uh, the shields were kind of countering me hard there in the beginning. But, uh, eventually, I just destroyed all the land around him. <laughs> I couldn't let him build anymore. And he was on the defensive there for uh, a lot of the end of that, uh, that match. Whew. All right, well, that's going to do it for this first episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all uh, next time. Take care.